Hey guys, this is Jeremy from the TV Box Professionals and today I want to show you guys how to upgrade your Kodi from version 16 to version 17.1. So version 17.1 is going to be pretty much necessary moving forward because uh, more and more of the sites that you're streaming videos from are moving to HTTPS dependencies that's not supported by any version other than Kodi 17.1 so what that means is you're gonna lose access to more and more content over the next coming weeks and months so you might as well just bite the bullet and do the upgrade if you're running a version of Kodi prior to Kodi 16 Jarvis then I recommend you do the upgrades incrementally so upgrade from Kodi 14 to Kodi 15 and then open it up and close it Upgrade to Kodi 16, open it up, close it, then upgrade to Kodi 17. So if you do it in this fashion and if you upgrade Kodi 16 to Kodi 17.1, then the benefits of that are you're going to be able to keep the settings that you already have set up in your Kodi. Although it's not necessary, you can simply delete Kodi and install 17.1, Kodi 17.1 Krypton um, with fresh install. The only issue with that is you're going to have to install everything once again and uh, adjust your settings as necessary the way that you like it. So there's a couple options. The way that I'm going to show you is just doing a straight upgrade from Kodi 16 to Kodi 17.1. So in order to do this, what we want to do first is we need to go back and change our skin to Confluence, which is the default Kodi 16 skin. So if you have anything else, like I just set up Aeon Nox as an example, we're going to have to go to System, and then we're going to have to go to Appearance, select Skin, and then we're going to have to choose Confluence, and it'll give us a window asking if we want to change it. We're going to keep the change and then we can go ahead and close Kodi in order to go into Google Play and perform the update. So now the Kodi is closed what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Google Play Store it should have an icon similar to this and if you didn't sign into it yet you're going to have to sign in to Google Play it takes a couple of minutes to just sign in. You don't need to um, use any credit card information or anything like that. It's actually nice to sign into Google Play because then you'll have access when you need it to download new applications. So once we're signed into Google Play, we're going to click in the search bar at the top. We're going to type in Kodi, Kodi, and search for that. And it should be the very first result on the left hand side here. So as you can see right here we have Kodi by the XBMC Foundation and right to its immediate right we have the complete Kodi setup wizard. Now I just want to mention that I, I am a fan of this particular application it's easy to use you don't have to pay for anything it allows you to install Kodi builds there's a quite a, an array of Kodi builds you can install directly from there a bunch of different add-ons it allows you to do maintenance in there install new versions of Kodi if necessary it allows you to do everything for SPMC also which is right here this is SPMC so SPMC is basically um, a repackaged Kodi and it works really well with Android However, I have another video on the complete Kodi setup wizard and I encourage you to check it out. So, we're going to click on Kodi. And when that opens up, we should have an update button. So, we're going to go ahead and update. And this version of Kodi is actually 17.1. So, we'll go right ahead and click on that. Wait a moment. I'm doing this install actually on an MXQ Pro 4K Ultimate. They're, they're a popular box. I imagine um, several of the people that 
watch and follow this video we'll probably be using an MXQ Pro 4K Ultimate but this process should work on pretty much any Android TV box besides um, and TV boxes that are running uh, Android 4.4 if you're using an older box it's just running um, Android 4 it's it's probably time to start considering doing an upgrade to uh, a newer box there's going to be less and less um, content being supported on Android 4 devices so like I said if, if you're using an older box I would consider upgrading it's it's about time so that downloads still pending I'm gonna pause the video here and when it's done downloading and installing I'll just restart the video and demonstrate um, Cody 17.1 So Kodi 17.1 Krypton has finished downloading and installing. The whole process it took about three to five minutes. It depends upon your internet connection and uh, how fast your box is. But the process shouldn't take very long. And as you can see, the entire process of upgrading from an older version of Kodi um, to 17.1 is an extremely easy process everyone's box most boxes out there should already have Google Play installed on it all you have to do is sign in and do the update it's, it's a really easy process so I'm just gonna back out of Google Play and go back and open up the new version of Kodi so Kodi and as you can see this is Kodi version 17.1 Krypton preparing for first run so this process once again will take you know a couple of minutes depending on how fast your box is And as you can see, when we had Kodi 16.1, I actually had the Aeon Knox skin enabled, and we disabled it before we did the upgrade, but it says it's, it's incompatible. So if we wouldn't have reverted back to Confluence before we did the upgrade, we probably would have just got a black screen, and then at that point we would have had to do a fresh install of Kodi, and we could have potentially lost all our settings. So. That's, that's all um, that you have to do to do this upgrade. And once again, I just want to reiterate that moving forward, this, this is a necessary upgrade if you want to be able to continue to access all video streams. Um, it, you've probably already noticed that a lot of your high definition streams aren't working anymore and that's, that's because you need to actually do this do this upgrade so follow the steps and if you have any problems doing the upgrade please leave a comment below um, if you enjoyed the video leave a like and subscribe to our channel thanks guys for watching and we'll see you next time